Hi everyone, this is Smruti. Welcome to QA Automation classes. So, so let's start the today's session. So now, uh, this is a user says the endpoint with the resource. That resource will get appended uh, with the base URI and the endpoint will be constructed. Okay, fine. So now, uh, here uh, we have to uh, right uh, we, we can come to later let's create another method for this one okay this is what you have already created for the uh, hitting the endpoint hit the endpoint with the http post method so that is also done so now the next thing is what we need to do so this is done right so third statement uh, is also the when then one part is already taken care through the first one right so we don't need it over here so now uh, we need to have the validation api should return created data in response body with id title and author right so now these things we need to uh, do so how to do okay so now let's create another method for that one public okay void so void right so we can say verify right verify post right uh, object creation or something right so whatever post object we are trying to create uh, is the creation is successful or not right so we are going to verify that one and here also we need uh, to verify with the help of our expected values right so in, in the response if you see exactly id title and author whatever we are passing in the request body same thing is passed in the response also so what we can do we can uh, take care we can uh, we can get these things so, right so we can uh, i can copy it from there like string id string title and string author we need to uh, pass it over here also right so string id then string title okay so string id and then we can write the string title and then the string author okay so these three things we need okay so now uh, yeah so now what we need so then we have to do the actual validation over here right so what kind of validation we need here so we need to assert them right if the proper id is getting created proper title is getting created proper author is getting created in the response if you see the exact same values are coming so let's say assert dot assert true okay so we can give a message and then we can compare the expected and uh, what is that we can give the two conditions to match okay so now uh, the asset dot asset true so first we will sing uh, the id right so we have to give some message if this assertion is not passed that message is going to get displayed if assertion is passed right so that message will not be displayed so create post id uh not like created post id not found with that doesn't make sense so post id is not uh, found okay so this this is better now and uh, we can say uh, okay so uh, we can give the assertion part right so response okay so from the response we'll say dot uh, body okay so first get the body so right so get body and after getting the body we can convert it into the uh, string like uh, right as a string and then after converting it into the string we can say dot right so dot we can say let's say the string contains right so if the string contains that uh, id or not right if the string contains that id then we can say okay this is uh, this assertion is passing right so it contains id and then uh, so now we can say again asset dot asset true post id similarly we can say post title and post author okay so title is not found and there we can say title is not found response dot uh, get body dot as string dot contains title right so we can say title over here and similarly we can say author also over here okay so three things we can do okay so and let's say author is not found so we can say uh, string author okay so we can say here we can say contents author so exactly what we are doing we are doing uh, inside the string like the response whatever is there we are reading it in the form of the entire response as a string and in the string we are seeing whether 28 is present if the title your version classes is present author is present or not see uh, if your title contains 28 then also it is going to say true right 
this is not the proper validation but it is kind of validation that we can put as of now right because in the response we have only one object okay and uh, there is very less chance to get those kind of the uh, issues right so we can have through the json path also right we can retype that particular nodes value and we can do the match okay so that also we can do but uh, as of now let's go with this one in the next uh, when we go forward in our upcoming classes we'll see that okay how to validate at the particular nodes okay so now uh, if you see here right so if you see uh, we have the id title and author right so these things will be uh, validated now okay so now if you go to the IntelliJ, right okay so now the validation is done so now what we can do so now uh, everything is done we have to write the glue code right so from the glue code we have to call these things right so let's go to the step definition and we already have the u posts right that is the object give some meaningful name guys like you can say give user posts or something so now hit uh, endpoint with the http post method and we need to pass those values so what are the values we need to pass we need to pass id uh, title and uh, author okay three things we need to pass so it is also suggesting string id author and uh, um, um, title right so now i can copy it from here string id title and string author just copy and then put it over here okay and here we can just pass uh, we can here just now pass the in the method call we can uh, no we are going to pass the uh, those uh, values right so we're not going to change the method signature okay so user is the endpoint with the http post method and we can pass the id comma title comma author okay so copy the title and copy the author also okay so id comma title comma author okay so three things we can pass okay so now uh, same thing we can do with the uh, next uh, uh, step like uh, next step right step definition right so this is done so let's copy the string id string title and string author so let's go and here also give the same thing and then with the user post let's uh, with the user post object you post dot uh, yeah so select the method and then we can also pass the id title and author okay so id title and author okay so now also it is done okay so now let's uh, run like all our step uh, is done we have the steps for the respective step definition uh, step definitions right so we have the actual methods also so hit endpoint with http post method we can give some sop statement okay so we can say user so will give some meaningful message user uh, what you can say user hit uh, user hits uh, hit uh, user post endpoint okay so you can say like that endpoint with the post call okay with post request or post call you can say post http method okay so and then similarly we can say system dot out dot println is out okay so here we can say something like uh, what is that post object created okay post object is created successfully or uh, something we don't have to create uh, use successfully we can say uh, post object is created okay so we can say post object is created okay so get rid of this successfully okay so this is also one of the statement that we uh, have already given okay so now what we need to do so apart from this uh, we can now run our runner and we can see the response okay so where is our runner okay everything all the all the steps are already been there with the resource we can uh, create the endpoint and then through the further steps right we can call the uh, post method through the post method we can hit that endpoint and then api should uh, return those valid status code right and this validation should happen with this uh, id title author and a status code whatever is there right so this should happen right so this is what uh, we are trying to do the status code should be 201 over here and uh, with those id title and author we are going to validate the response okay so that's what we are going to do okay so now uh, and we can keep one more line api response should be in the json format also we just copy paste it is already implemented okay so that should be uh, taken care we don't have to do anything 
so let's comment it out and let's try to run the cucumber runner okay so yeah let's run it okay so endpoint is properly getting abstracted but it is failing okay so why it is failing so let's see uh, let's see the error where where exactly it is failing so endpoint is proper the request body is also proper okay uh, i think uh, verify status code okay response object the null pointer exception yeah so the response is uh, null over here so let's go to the user post okay so the status code equals to response dot get status code this response object it is not able to find so we might have missed it when we are hitting that endpoint okay so let's go to the method where we are hitting that term um, uh, okay so if you go to that uh, user post class okay this is the api class here you can see right uh, what is that uh yeah here given dot log dot all when content type json right so it should be uh, assigned to the response object right so we already have the response uh, variable created object created so we need to assign it right so now just assign that one otherwise it will it is not able to find the get hold of the response right so then only it is giving all those errors so now we can say response equals to given log all when content type content type json body post body request dot post endpoint okay so this should be assigned to your response so i can say response okay okay so now this is done okay so now now what to do here okay so everything is done so we can rerun it and we can uh, verify okay so now run it one more time So if you see okay this is successful now there is no error everything is uh, created so now if you see this is the request uh, body okay this is coming from the log dot all right so user is the endpoint response status code 201 expected status code is matching with the actual status code awesome and uh, if you see this is coming from this 39 okay awesome so now if we can give something we can distinguish between what is the all method and what is the from our sop statement what is is this getting generated okay so i'll just give something like this uh, so that we can understand the equation to sign symbol okay we can uh, distinguish between the what is coming from the all what is coming from our uh, this one sop statement okay so okay so here here also we can give post object is created also we can give okay so now if you see okay in the next one we'll see those uh, coming in the console okay so now if i see id equals to 30 and uh, transferring qa okay so api response is in json format api response is in uh, in string is id 30 transferring from qa to hd author smooth okay so if you see the response is properly coming okay response is also in the json format but what happened to our post object created i don't see that uh, right uh, maybe we did some mistake here Mm, okay so this is the response and all it is coming from that last line of the feature file so we'll see okay so verify post object creation okay so now uh, i don't see that verify post object creation method is getting executed okay let's see here uh, if the post 30 you are seeing oh my god what is this so 30 is created three times okay so maybe the way we we have hit it is somewhat we made wrong somewhere so let's go and see it, because there is no validation okay it doesn't validate that and it keeps on creating with the same duplicate values also so this is not right we made something something is messed up right in our code so let's go there and let's check it out okay so where exactly it went wrong okay so okay so let's go to our IntelliJ and if you see uh let's go to that methods and see so api user here is the endpoint with the post method api should return created data okay so here we should have a validation we if you see we are calling the same method over here my god this is wrong actually right so we are calling this endpoint twice okay instead of calling the other method for the verification we are calling the 
hitting the end point with HTTP POST method okay so <laughs> yeah this is the wrong uh, what we did so we can get rid of this method call and we can substitute with the actual verification method call over there right so that is the issue guys okay so we need to pay more attention while calling the methods because see whatever you write that is only going to get executed it doesn't have its own intelligence right so you need to um, point it okay you go and verify this method okay so verify post object creation id title author okay so but we already have 30 created three times right so we need to delete it first before running okay or we can update the data right so i'm thinking should i update the data or we should go ahead and uh, delete because i need to update everything now right so so better let's go and delete it from the let's go to the postman and from the postman we can go to the delete so now we can have that uh, instead of 28 we can have the 30 okay so let's put 30 over here and let's call send once okay so it's deleted once so let's go and verify whether all of them got deleted or only one instance got deleted so now see only one instance got deleted two more instances are still there so now if we say one more one more time two times we have to hit okay so now three times we hit so all the three objects should have got deleted from here if you see all of them are deleted awesome so now what we are going to do so now uh, we can rerun it and we can see uh, what is exactly happening here okay so now go to your cucumber runner and from the cucumber runner we can directly start running it okay so now go to the cucumber runner okay okay so this is perfectly happening okay fine so now before running i just checked it okay so now run it okay so if you see okay correct endpoint and everything is coming and it is also created okay so these are nothing but what you see this uh, equals to symbols are there this is coming from our uh, sop statements okay so we can go and verify our uh, response post object is created api response is in json format and api response in the string is uh, the same thing is coming over here okay so everything looking good over here user post okay and uh, we can go and quickly verify it once right so 30 should get created only once if you go here and refresh this you should see the 30 is created okay so yeah uh, this is correct behavior and this is how we do with the help of the uh, request pojo and the, in the next session we'll see how to do it with the help of the uh, uh, response okay uh, with the help of the uh, hash map okay that's what we're going to look into it in the next class so yeah so that's all to this session guys if you guys are really enjoying my uh, sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel and please share them with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefited out of it and uh, if you have any questions just put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, uh, if you are really enjoying this session please like the content okay and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to q automation classes for more exciting cool playlist right we have already completed a lot of uh, cool playlist also there are upcoming playlists are there so stay tuned to q automation classes guys thank you everyone Bye bye